Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, well, obviously naked, but uh, we're also trying to make our way out of the facility. And also, look, we have two configurations for weapons in this game, which means we can swap weapons on the fly. Which is absolutely something I can do with a button press if I had more weapons than just the plasma torch. Unfortunately, I don't, so I can't show it off. But, with that in mind, we talked to Kreia, who apparently knows more than she lets on. And also knows about me more than she lets on. But we've also pretty much, more or less, emptied out everything that we can before we get to here. First episode, actually doing things. I have to... Yep, I have to actually beat it with the plasma torch, because it's the only way to open it. Wow, that did a lot. Well, I mean, it was overridden physically by being burned. Okay, well anyway. Time to start looting some corpses. A vibroblade. Well, now I can actually show the functionality. Th I'm pretty sure I hit most of these buttons, didn't I? I guess I didn't yet. Well, in that case. Um, there we go. And with a simple button press that I can't seem to remember. It's supposed to be a simple button press. Oh. There we go. It's that function. It's on use. That's right. I remember now. I thought it was a button press on my controller. It used to be. Wasn't there? Am I losing my mind? Reggie, could you tell me if I'm losing my mind? Actually, scratch that. You're going to tell me I am anyway. So, let's just ignore that question. <laughs> and just move on, huh? Okay. So, I've looted everything that can be looted. Okay. Can't open this door, I'm sure. Emergency blast door. Yep. And I can't bash it. Cannot be opened with a plasma torch. Well, that pretty much narrows down my list of options to zippity doo diddly. So, um, should I be carrying the plasma torch still? Is it any functionality at all? Probably not. Yeah, we'll just ignore it for now. Open the door. Uh-oh. This can't be good. Alright, time to go to our tried and tested technique. Flurry. Yes, I know. I know how combat is activated. I played the original game. Thank you, game. Okay, the hitching is a little weird. But uh, I'm sure that'll eventually fade. Hey, Perfection. See? Tried and tested, Flurry is. And it works beautifully. I mean, it hurts a little bit, but it still works beautifully. It hurts for now, because it lowers my defense. But that's not the point. Oh, boy, oh boy. Okay. As long as it's overwhelming offense, then it's working as intended. Boo. Yeah. Alright, and I also have four med packs, so I'll be fine. All right, there is a lot of bodies and a lot of droids. Whatever happened here happened real bad. Real bad. Question is, what happened? That we don't know yet. Hey, this one's relatively empty of murder bots. Impact armor. Picking up a lot of things for droids. Emergency hatch. This is the exit, but it is sealed. Strange. In my visions, it was open. Kreia? There was only silence. Try to find some way to open the hatch. It is odd that this emergency hatch hasn't opened, considering the circumstances. There may be a way to open it if you could get to an access terminal. Okay. 
Well, I guess we'll have to get to an access terminal now, won't we? Security desk, maybe? Possibly. Yeah, it's worth a shot. But among things that are worth a shot, security tunneler, security locker. Can I open it with my security? Yes, I can. I get components and an eye, a couple of ion grenades. The ion grenades would be useful against these robots. Against these murder bots. Okay. Paragus Security Control, Emergency Lockdown, Main Console Commands, Access Remote Camera Controls, Main Storage Office, Main Security Office, rather, that would be moi, Security Storage Room, that was what I read, and oh, hello, how are you today, murder rubits? Uh, communications Blister, ah, well, that's probably where I can find the security hatch uh, opening. Probably. Holding cells? There's someone in there. And they're not dead. Ooh, my goodness. Okay, well, might want to get to them at some point. Emergency hatch to mining tunnels. Well, the, that's the hatch. I just don't know how to get it open. Uh, return to main functions. Check security records. System records damaged. Restoring limited log access obtained. Paragus safety hollow orientation. Is this thing on? All right. All hands, especially you, Corder. Listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus 2 and created this asteroid field. Oh. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. Ah. So that explains the asteroid field. Paragus went boom. Because of someone accidentally or intentionally making it go boom. I guess. Hmm. Interesting. And that created the asteroid field. And I guess they decided, hey, while this is extremely dangerous to be using anything... That could cause high heat to make this explode. The fuel's still good, so we're going to go after the fuel anyway. So they invented probably safer alternatives to getting the fuel. And here's hoping it stays that way. Because that is apparently too useful for them to not do it. Ugh. <sighs> I don't know what it's fueling, but eh, it's probably something important. Accident report logs. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. Mm -hmm. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. Whoa. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though. So we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Corda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids are acting crazy. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. Next time a Telos freighter arrives? Ever since the Jedi showed up, they knew I was a Jedi? How widespread was that knowledge? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Well. And apparently the mining accident also 
screwed up the droid that set the charge, as well as a whole bunch of miners. Yeesh. And apparently it's been a spate of them since I arrived. I hope they didn't think I was the cause of it. Mm -hmm. Mining droid maintenance logs. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I can just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Medbay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being huh. sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. Okay, so that explains the store of ion grenades. But selling me to the exchange? Huh? The hell would the exchange want with me? Okay. All right, so it didn't happen directly after. It started happening after command of the facility said that we weren't going to sell me to the exchange. Okay. So someone was trying to get everyone else out of the way. So that way they could? Possibly. Okay. All right. Administration console maintenance. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. Okay. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. Okay. So, he apparently planned ahead for when he actually eventually caught them to not allow anyone to get into that level. And then rescue the ringleader of this whole thing whoever the ringleader ended up being. Cocky. Understandably. Okay. All right. Explains a bit. Security storage room inventory. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the footlockers hmm. in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. Okay. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belts mm -hmm. should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister console. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged, maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. Gotcha. So he'd rather not destroy them. He'd rather find out who did it. Hmm. Gotcha. Okay. That explains a lot. And... Be careful. There is much energy in the room beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Kreia? What? Can you not sense them? Reach out, cast aside your sight, 
Cast aside what you see, and instead, reach out with your perceptions. Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive, but the small oscillations of energy, that you can feel, echoing outwards. With Kreia's help, you have gained the passive precognition power. When this power is triggered, you should save your game. All right. Well, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Be right back. There we go. And we're good. And fight time begins. I could throw a grenade. But why do that when I can just beat them to death with flurry? Ha 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 ha. Is this appropriate in the middle of combat? I feel strange, like the sedatives are wearing off. It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. But it doesn't feel like it did. It feels like it is coming from across a great distance. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echo. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. Gaining experience will slowly re-establish your connection to the Force. Go to the level up screen and choose your Force abilities. I will in a second, once I actually finish the combat I was supposed to be doing. It's a little early <laughs> to be throwing that at me. Especially when I haven't completely evaded all of the threats yet. Okay, well, time to level up. Force-sensitive and unarmed specialist. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, time to dump some points into computer use. Persuade. Treat injury. And security. There we go. Because I'll need all of those. Powers. Hmm. What should I use as powers? Interesting. Stun droid would be very useful, especially in this particular situation. There will be a lot of droids coming up. Hmm. That That's probably the best I best idea. Yeah. I want to say that's the best idea. Absolutely. Okay. This power can send a surge of energy through the processor of a droid, rendering them immobile for 12 seconds. The droid also takes damage equivalent to the attacking character's level. A successful fortitude save by the target at a DC... of... DC. Okay. It's basically talking about the dice rolls in the background of the whole thing. Okay. Accept and level up. Booyah. Blah. Now we have done the thing. This is also the security storage area that I should be looting. More ion grenades, more chemicals, and more components. Fantastic. What about in here? More ion grenades, more med packs, and the stealth field generator that the main security officer was talking about. I don't think I'm going to need it. So I'm not going to equip it. Mainly because I'm doing just fine fighting my way through here. Well, hello, murder bot. How are you today? Let's try out this stun droid. Huh? Push A to activate an offensive force power highlighted in the second slot of the action menu. Some force powers affect only a single target. Yes, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. There we go. And assuming that that actually works, we then go into melee combat. Cool. Oh, it managed to save itself from the stun. Well, it didn't save itself from that now, did it? <laughs> All right. Ah, nope. As long as it don't see me, I don't need to worry. Oh, fuck. Okay. Down you go. No. No. 
don't need to worry about that. Because I can probably just shut them all down now. Paragus Communications Con... I was about to say console, but it's control. But I guess both work. Emergency Lockdown. Blah, 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 blah. It just skipped through everything. Unlike the other consoles you've encountered, this console has no access port you could use to slice the system. You'll need the encryption code to unlock it. Look for the control override switch. You have found the security officer's override switch. Do you wish to activate it? Yes. Turns that off. And should... Yep, it deactivates the droids. Cool. Security override activated. All droids on level deactivated. Holding cell door force field deactivated. Log out. And... The droids just sit there now. No longer a threat to me. <laughs> Alright, time to grab some emergency supplies. Med pack. Yeah, well, better than nothing. Ooh! This droid still has power, but it is no longer receiving a signal from the droid central controller. I see. So they're powered, but they're no longer connected to the main droid computer examine the unit's behavior core it looks as if some recent modifications have been made to this unit's vocabulator these droids will no longer accept commands from any member of the mining facility except one the ID designation matches the maintenance officer for this facility check the last received commands it looks as if their mining protocols have been set to mine any organics and any non-authorized droids in the facility. If this is the case, then the mining droids have likely wiped out every one and everything in the facility. Switch mining protocol to defend organics. Actually, just scavenge the mining droid for spare components. You have a few components from the mining droid. Cool. And then disable the droid. And bop. It's now dead. I don't need to loot it because it's already dead. And I already looted the components from it. Cool. More emergency supplies. Good. You know what? This one I might keep doing the thing. This one might not. Okay. Scavenge. Disable. There we go. This one. Scavenge. Disable. There we go. This one. Scavenge. And... I could do that again. Alright, I've already scavenged the droid. There are no components left, okay? Check the last received commands. Switch mining protocol to defend organics. Success! This droid has now been switched to defend any organic in the facility. If someone chooses to attack you, this droid will attempt to protect you. Cool. Awesome. I didn't even need to spend anything to do it. Hells yeah. Gotta love that. And these are probably not going to be any use to doing that. Switch mining protocol to defend organics. I could do that. There we go. Cool. Scavenge and switch. Cool. Alright. Supply cylinder. Okay. Anything good? Eh, some more components. Lovely. So this is going to be a good way to farm some easy-to-get supplies. Gotta love that. You gotta love it. Alright. Let's get the rest of the droids on this level before I move on. Docking door. The airlock will only open if a ship docks with the facility. 
I see. So I have to wait for a ship to actually dock. Fair enough. I guess. Hmm. Alright, well. All the other droids are either switched to defense or dead. What about this door? Emergency blast door. Probably not going to let me open it. Emergency yep. Gotcha. To contain the explosion, huh? I'm pretty sure if there was an explosion, we'd all be dead. Beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Hmm. But you have nothing to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. Hmm. Interesting. Hello. Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? Care to explain why you're locked up? Security claimed I violated some trumped up regulation or another. Take it up with them if you want. But they stopped listening to me shortly before they stopped feeding me. Now that's criminal. Maybe I could help you if you told me who you are. Atten. Atten Rand. Atten Excuse Rand. me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Oh, only mild? Well, fair enough. Okay, I could go that route, which is a little more demanding. So, what is this place? Oh, you mean you didn't come here on purpose? I'm shocked. I really am. Mm -hmm. This slice of paradise is the Paragus Mining Facility. The only supplier of shipping-grade engine fuel to this corner of the galaxy. Ah. Uh -huh. fuel plays havoc with engines, but it gets the job done. As long as you don't mind the toxic byproducts and trying to mine it without blowing yourself up. So it's low quality fuel, but it's still good enough to work. Toxic byproducts, though. That's a little concerning. This facility doesn't sound too safe. Yeah, this asteroid belt is one giant minefield. One proton torpedo, even a stray blaster shot, can start an explosion that'll make the one that shattered Paragus 2 look like a kid's pop detonator. Paragus 2? You know the planet with the exposed core you saw flying in? That hole was caused by the first mining station that tried to siphon fuel off the planet. Mm -hmm. Blew a whole chunk out of the planet and set it drifting out here in a big clump of fuel-cooled asteroids. So the miners drill the asteroids now, not the planet's surface. That's why they don't allow gotcha. blasters here. Can't trust a miner jumped up on Juma Juice not to fire one stray shot that'll turn the entire colony into a thermal detonator. Understandable. And can't blame them. Especially if they're that drunk. Would drunk work? Juma Juice? Would drunk work? I don't know. Reggie, tell me if that works. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway. Um, yeah, I guess these are the only two options I have. This facility's deserted. What happened? You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. Hmm. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for oh. law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. So there's a bounty on ex... There's a bounty from the exchange on Jedi. Apparently, alive Jedi. Why is there a bounty on a captured Jedi? I don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Not many Jedi left? What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is, there's not even a Jedi Council anymore. But who knows? The stories I heard were of the Sith, not the Jedi. Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? 
I've been away since the Mandalorian Wars. Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. The rumors I heard said Revan, defe Revan defeated Malak, then went to Korriban to unite the Sith against the Republic. Oh, so this is how I can choose how the story went. I was led to believe that Revan saved the Jedi and the Republic. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know women. Okay, all right, all right. Let's just stop you right there. First off, that's rather misogynistic. Second off, huh? Revan was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, so this is what I'm going to be dealing with. Okay. All right. Lovely. Oh, boy. I just can't escape the misogyny now, can I? Uh, gotta be at work and here. Great. All right. All right. I have some more questions for you. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Yes. Okay, let's stop calling me a Jedi. First off. Second off. I have no idea. I don't know. This facility seems abandoned. Don't you know what happened to them? From my beautiful view in this security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Like you've gotten out of this little bit of trouble that you caught yourself in? Hmm? All right, whatever you say. Tell me your plan, and we can go from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. One thing first. The patients in the medical bay were killed with a lethal dose of sedatives. Know anything about that? Huh? What are you talking about? Never mind. Just checking. So you done interrogating me, or are we going to work together and try to get out of this mess? Maybe. Okay. Let's go. Why don't you tell me what to do, and we'll see. Well, I mean... Alright, I trust you. And if we work together, we may be able to get out of this mess. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Cool. All right, let's go. All right, here we are. Now, this console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid yeah. drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns mm. them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Mm -hmm. The thing is, you bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! Sounds like you're about to tell me something I don't want to hear. This system's been severed from the main hub, after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. That wouldn't be standard procedure in an emergency lockdown. No. Someone tried to lock down this whole level tight leave us here trapped is there anything else we can do with this console i doubt it all we have is communications back for all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us can we contact the miners we could try but if the miners were trying to trap you up here and probably kill you why not call them and chat i don't think a friendly call is going to wake them up hmm. maybe there's something logged in the terminal that can give us some answers be my guest not much else we can do Tom's all yours. Okay. Light side points. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Go to the administration computer again. Check administration logs. Access log 25312. Tracked at the freighter in. It was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. 
narcotics. Sent the survivor to medical and the others Protocol to the droid. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Question the protocol droid about what happened. This is Master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. So, the protocol droid is who told everyone I was a Jedi. Apparently told that to the highest ranking officer, I'm presuming, in the facility. Alright. But who is the protocol droid? There was no protocol droid in the initial prologue we did. Weird. Okay. Two five three fourteen. Inventoried the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T three droid had seized up, so we left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid com routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man to shut him up. When the gotcha. survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a re Okay. That was rather abrupt. Two five three seventeen. Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out. The miners aren't sure what to do with him. Ah. Uh. Order's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will know no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Evan Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser. And those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. Okay. Well, apparently the word leaked out from the higher-ranked officers to the rest of the place. And that was when Korda apparently got his idea. Korda apparently being the uh, villain of this whole crew. And... It apparently is when all the accidents started occurring. Apparently, according to this, it was time marked one day ago. So the accident started from a day ago? Jesus, it has gone on for a short amount of time, but it has definitely racked up a body count. Jesus. All right, return to main functions. Access the comm system. Dormitories? No response. Okay. Makes sense. Hangar Bay 25. As you access Hangar Bay 25, there is a series of low-pitched whistles and beeps. It sounds as if there is a utility droid on the other end. Can you read me? Okay. More droid speak that I can't understand. Deep beep. Do a diagnostic, then follow my instructions. At this point, I'm just going to do the noises. Excuse me, my eyes are starting to act up. Give me a second. <sighs> Sorry about that. I was trying to do that quietly, but then eventually I had to start getting my arm into, in front of the mic, to start trying to actually scratch at it pretty profusely. Sorry about that. Anyway... All right, we're trapped up on the administration level. Can you unlock the turbo lifts? <laughs> this is gonna get so silly. <laughs> if I keep doing this, is there some other way out of here besides the turbo lifts? Okay. I'd rather risk it than be trapped up here. Oh boy. Journal entry added. Alright, let's look at your stats real quick. Computer use, 10. Demolition, 6. No stealth, makes sense. Two awareness, no persuade, makes sense. Repair, 10. Security, 10. Treat injury, 0. 
Makes sense. All of that makes sense. Okay. Well, in that case... Chemicals, components, and sonic grenade. Alright, that should do it. Repair kits. Nice. Low security door. Ion cell. Some more components. Interesting. Sealed door. I guess this is... Someone has purposefully welded this door shut. You'll need to blast it open with explosives. Okay. I had to remember that I have to hit B to exit combat. Low security door. Ah. This brings me to the hangar. What about over here? No security door over this way. Oh, hi! Hello! Do the droid shock arm a little bit, huh? Ooh, that is useful. <laughs> okay, well, apparently the shock arm is more useful <laughs> than the freaking laser. Oh boy. All right. Which makes me concerned, actually. Am I wasting charges on that thing? Oh, it's unlimited. Ooh. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You should not have done that. Oh, boy. All right. Um, security tunneler and repair kits. Bash and then... Okay. All right. So I can't do anything with that. Well, there's the Ibn Hawk, and it looks like it's repaired. At least more repaired than it was. Fuel depot door. Emergency blast door is magnetically sealed, and no amount of security or explosives will open it. You'll need to override it from a console. Okay. Fair enough. What about the hangar bay door? Same problem. Okay. First things first, though. Let's get into these foot lockers. Perfect. Repair kit. Always nice. What in the hell is that thing I'm looking at over there? What is... That's a droid, apparently. From those movements... Well, rather hate to have to run into that as this little T3. Progress hangar control system diagnostic system damaged. Several parts have been removed from this console and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Despite the sabotage, however, the console's basic, basic functionality was intended to be restored quickly by replacing the missing parts. Okay, I have no parts to do that with. So, I'm SOL. Okay. So much for that idea. Can I eventually get in there? Maybe. Hopefully if I pick up a mine or two on the way. Minor sonic detonators. Oh, hey! More chances to use this thing. <laughs> I didn't even need to use more than one. And then laser. That misses entirely. And more shock. At this point, I might as well just use the shock arm, because it's basically OP. <laughs> Alright, plasteel cylinder. What do we got? Heat shielding mark one and repair kit. Alright, I'll take that. That's fine by me. Oh, I can get into the fuel depot with this. Little turbo lift here, okay. Oh, 
All right, broken droid, get some components there. Open this door. Uh-oh. Hey, there we go. All right. Okay. All right, as long as we keep using this, we should be fine. Perfect. And then we got remains off of this one. A droid flamethrower. Ooh. <laughs> droid ion blast mark one. This wrecked droid contains a special droid-based item that, when equipped, allows droids to perform special attacks against their opponents. This destroyed droid contains an ion blaster, which is extremely effective against droid components and energy shields. It only has a limited number of charges, after which it is destroyed. Okay, limited number of charges. What about the flamethrower? Is the flamethrower the same deal? Yeah, exactly the same deal. But this is probably... Target 7th level and up, ignore horror effect. Oh, on hit it can add horror and make them run around for like 3 seconds. 7th level and up. Save DC 15 for half damage. Range short. Okay. So. Stun for 12 seconds. DC 10 to ignore stun. Okay. Alright. Let's equip that for now then. Droid Ion Striker. Deadly Sonic Mine and Paragus Depot Survey. Purged the fuel lines, and I found three sonic charges attached inside. I checked the work logs, and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosives, but I can't seem to get a signal through. I've removed the remote detonators, and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in a secure hold in the hangar. Well. That's not good. And I guess now it's time to backtrack now, isn't it? Going back to that door that was welded shut. Oh, great. More of them. And they have shields. Great. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with them eventually. But for right now... It is time to end the episode, because I am definitely not doing that right now. I'm knocking things over with my pinky. Oopsie doodle. Okay, so, thank y'all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so I can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and doing my damnedest to get through this entire area in one piece. And uh, I guess now we have to run around with T3 to get any sort of progress done that will allow us to get at least somewhere. I say us as in us humans to get somewhere to get off of this facility. Hopefully it won't take that long, but we'll see how it goes for you.